हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वन मोर न्यू वीडियो ऑफ लर्न इट एंड विदाउट वेस्टिंग मोर ऑफ योर टाइम लेट गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट मी गिव यू क्विक रिकैप ऑफ व्हाट वी हैव लर्न इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो द फर्स्ट इज अबाउट द प्लांट किंगडम एंड द विटेकर हैज गिवन द फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन एंड प्लांट किंगडम हैव ऑल्सो बीन क्लासिफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू देम ओनली on the basis of cell structure complexity and the mode of nutrition they have been divided into different parts we have also learned about the classification of the plant kingdom on three bases or the three systems the first was the artificial system second one was the natural system and third one was the phylogenetic system and we have already learned about the important terms also like numerical taxonomy cytotaxonomy and about the chemotaxonomy and one of the main classification was the eschnus classification in which plant has been divided into two kingdoms which is known as sub kingdoms the first is cryptogame and the second one was known as known as phanerogame cryptogame means known flowering seedless plant and phanerogame means flowering seed bearing plants cryptogame has been divided into three parts first is the division in which it has been divided into three parts cryptogame has been divided into three parts basically thallophyta bryophyta and pteridophyta and phanerogamy has been divided into spermatophyta now in cryptogamy thallophyta has been divided into algae and fungi and in this video we'll be talking about the algae only which is the subdivision of thallophyta and thallophyta is from the kingdom cryptogamy so as you see as you can see it from the screen about the algae the first topic we'll be studying is about what is known as phycology now what does the phycology means it is a branch of biology which deals with the study of algae only so all the algae and the study about the algae comes under phycology now what does the phycology means it has been divided into two parts one is phycos and second one is known as logos now phycos is equals to sea weeds and logos means study which means study of sea weed is known as phycology which means about the algae now fish is also known as the father of phycology and one more photograph is given over there which is of mop iyengar who is known as father of indian phycology now algae members are pigmented thallophytes which means they had some kind of color in them so now before heading into the details of the about the algae let us describe these or the let us discuss about how these algae has been divided into different categories let us start on the basis of habitat then we'll be moving on to the plant body which is unicellular or multicellular next is about the nutrition on the basis of their pigments on the basis of their reproduction like vegetative or asexual or sexual reproduction and then we'll go to the classification of the algae so let's start with the habitat the first topic in habitat is about the hydrophytes now what are the hydrophytes means if a algae is living in water or in a water habitat it will be known as hydrophytes second if it is living in a deserted area where the scarcity of water is there he will be known as zero fights next is in medium kind of habitat which means there is enough amount of water also and enough amount of deserted habitat also or a mixed condition is there he, it will be called as a mesophytes if he is living on a plant he will be known as epiphytes if he is re- living on a rock he will be known as lithophytes and when he is living in marshy areas like in salty areas where the concentration of salts in the soil is very high he will be known as halophytes so these are some of the differences or some of the types or the habitats where the algae lives now we'll be moving on to the second point which is about the plant body the algae has been divided into unicellular and also the multicellular organism now when we are talking about the unicellular it is flagellated or non flagellated which means it can contain flagella or it cannot contain flagella or it flagella will not be available for it the next point will be about the multicellular now about the multicellular the first point is synobium now what does it means a colony with fixed number of cells and division of labor is there if there is a colony with fixed number of cells and they have been divided different kinds of labor for example in wall box it will be known as synobium the second one is filamentous it can be filamentous which is unbranched shape or in a state of filamentous branched shape next it will be multinucleated or parenchymatous 
सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द हैबिटेट्स एंड द प्लांट बॉडी विच हेज बिन डिवाइड इन टू यूनिसेलुलर एंड मल्टीसेलुलर सो नाउ लेट एस मूव टू द नेक्स्ट टू टॉपिक्स द वन इज अबाउट द न्यूट्रिशन एंड सेकेंड वन इज अबाउट देयर कलरिंग और द डिफरेंट कलर्स द गेट विच इज नोन एज पिगमेंट्स सो द फर्स्ट टॉपिक इन न्यूट्रिशन इज अबाउट द ऑटोट्रॉप्स वी ऑलरेडी न्यू दैट द वॉट डज द ऑटोट्रॉपिक मीन्स इट मीन्स दे कैन प्रिपेयर देयर ओन फूड एंड ऑलमोस्ट ऑल एल गे आर फोटो सिंथेटिक इन नेचर विच मीन्स दे कैन प्रिपेयर देयर फूड विद द हेल्प ऑफ सनलाइट एंड दे आर नॉट डिपेंडेंट ऑन एनी ऑफ द अदर ऑर्गेनिजम्स सो बेसिकली मोस्ट ऑफ देम आर फोटो सिंथेटिक एंड ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज ऑटोट्रॉप्स नाउ देर आर सम एक्सेप्शंस विच इज नॉन एज पैरासिटिक फॉर्म्स विच इज ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट इन सम ऑफ द एलगेस बट वेन वी आर कंपेयरिंग टू द मोस्ट ऑफ द कम्युनिटी ऑफ द एलगे द क्वान्टिटी रिमेन्स वेरी लेस एंड नाउ लेट एस टेक टॉक अबाउट द पिगमेंट्स नाउ देर आर बेसिकली थ्री काइंड ऑफ पिगमेंट वन इज अबाउट द क्लोरोफिल इन विच देर आर ए बी सी डी क्लोरोफिल ए बी सी एंड डी द सेकेंड वन इज अबाउट द कैरोटीनोइड्स इट कंटेन्स कैरोटीन एंड जेंथोफिल द लास्ट वन विल बी नोन एज फाइकोबिलिंस नाउ वट इज द फाइकोबिलिंस इट इज कंटेनिंग फाइकोसाइन इन एंड फाइको एरिथ्रीन इन इट सो वॉट आर दीज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर these are responsible for giving certain kinds of color to the plant which means if you are talking about the carotenoids it gives the dominating pigment is brown in color so all the algae is coming under carotenoids will contain brown color in it so let us move to the next segment which is about the reproduction the first, it has been divided into three categories or the reproduction in algae has been divided into three circumstances the first is about the vegetative reproduction the second is about the a sexual mode of reproduction and third is about the sexual reproduction which is known as homogametes and heterogametes so let us discuss about the vegetative reproduction now in vegetative reproduction it has been divided to certain kinds or different types the first is about the fission the second is fragmentation budding tubers game these all topics we have already discussed in our chapter 1 let us talk about the second topic which is about the asexual reproduction without the fusion of gametes which means asexual reproduction does not require any kind of male or female gametes anything can work for example let us take about the zoospores endosperm exospores and monospores these are certain kinds of asexual mode of reproduction now let us go to the next segment which is about the sexual reproduction now this sexual reproduction has been divided into two categories one is about the home of the heterogametic now what is homogametic homo means same which means if gametes are similar it will comes under homogametes and if the gametes are dissimilar it will comes under heterogametes we'll be talking about heterogametes in detail in our next segment so let us move to the next topic which is about the sexual reproduction in algae it has been divided into into three categories one is about the isogamy second is anisogamy and third is oogamy so let us see the diagram so that we can easily understand what are the basic differences so let us talk about the first topic which is about the isogamy so what is isogamy it is basically the fusion of morphologically and physiologically similar gametes which means when we are visually seeing it or when we are comparing the structures all are similar so these kind of algae present comes under sexual reproduction and that term is known as isogamy the second is about the anisogamy now what does anisogamy means it is the fusion of morphologically or physiologically dissimilar gametes which means both the structure will be different of male also and about the female also as in case of the diagram you can easily understand the last one is about the oogamy it is about the fusion of morphologically and physio- physiologically dissimilar gametes which means the gametes structure also is different and morphological structure is also different in case of human also in case of algae also we can easily understand the difference of egg and sperm then it is considered under oogamy so now we'll be moving on to our next segment which is about the classification of the algae now algae has been divided into three categories the one is chlorophyce phaeophyce and rhodophyce chlorophyce is also been known as green algae phaeophyce has also been known as brown algae and rhodophyce has been known as red algae so let us move to the next segment which is known as the classification of algae will be moving from left to right and then discussing about the green algae brown and red algae step by step let us talk about the first which is known as the green algae green algae is basically living animal and they live in fresh water only and when we are talking about brown and red algae they both are marine animals which means they live in sea when we are talking about the next segment which is about the abundance which means 
द काइंड ऑफ यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर प्रेजेंट इन ग्रीन एलगे एंड दे आर अबंडेंट इन नेचर एंड वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट ब्राउन एंड रेड एलगे दीज काइंड ऑफ यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर एबसेंट इन ब्राउन एंड देर आर वेरी लेस वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रेड एलगे नाउ वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द थर्ड टॉपिक विच इज अबाउट द क्लोरोफिल इन ग्रीन एलगे क्लोरोफिल ए एंड बी आर प्रेजेंट सो दे आर बेसिकली ए एंड बी टाइप इन ब्राउन एलगे दे आर ए एंड सी टाइप एंड इन रेड एलगे दे आर बेसिकली ए एंड डी टाइप नाउ वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द फूड रिजर्व मटेरियल इन ग्रीन एलगे इट इज बेसिकली स्टार्च इन ब्राउन एलगे इट इज लेमिनेरिन एंड इन रेड एलगे इट इज फ्लोरिडियन स्टार्च सो दीज आर थ्री काइंड ऑफ स्टार्च विच आर प्रेजेंट इन एलगेज विच गिवस दैन द सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ एनर्जी फॉर द वर्क नाउ वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट सेल वॉल नाउ इन ग्रीन एलगे द सेल वॉल इज मेड अप ऑफ सेल्यूलोस इन ब्राउन एलगे एलगे द सेल वॉल कंटेन्स सेल्यूलोस एंड एलगिन एंड वेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रेड एलगे द सेल वॉल कंटेन्स सेल्यूलोस एंड ऑल्सो पोलिसल्फेट ईस्टर्स इन इट सो सेल्यूलोज इन कॉमन इज कॉमन इन ऑल ऑफ द थ्री नाउ लेट एस टॉक अबाउट द नेक्स्ट वर्जन विच इज अबाउट द कलरिंग ऑल्सो सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज अबाउट द कलरिंग नाउ फुकोजेंथिन इज एबसेंट इन ग्रीन एलगे एंड इज प्रेजेंट इन ब्राउन एलगे नाउ वॉट डज इट गिवस इट गिवस द ब्राउन कलर टू द ब्राउन एलगे एंड इफ इट इज एबसेंट इन क्लोरोफाइसे That's why it is also called as green algae. So the green color is due to the absence of fucosanthin. Now in red algae, a certain kind of chemical is present, which is known as phycoerythrin, which gives it a red color. Now when we are talking about the zoospores, in green algae zoospores are present, in brown algae zoospores are present, and when we are talking about red algae, zoospores are basically absent. so there are some of the examples also written over there so you can just so these algae is also considers very economic important so these are there are some of the economic importance regarding this the first is about the number of brown algae are also used as a food in some of the countries second is fucus and laminarin are a very rich source of iodine so they can be used in place of iodine or in the manufacturing of the iodine next is laminaria and ascophyllum they both shows the antibiotic properties which is used in the medicines the last one is alginic acid is obtained from fucus and sargassum which is used as an emulsion for the paints i hope you might have understood these topics very well if not i urge all of you to again repeat the video and watch it again you can also note this topic down as your notes so that you don't have to refer the books we at learn it are working hard to bring you all the easy and simple learning materials which can enhance your learning and listening capabilities if you are finding hard to understand any of the topic or want to know something in detail you can comment your questions down below in the comment section if you like our work please give it a thumbs up and if you want to get updated of our new videos do subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you don't miss any updates from the channel For more of such kind of updates stay tuned to the channel stay healthy stay safe and fit bye bye if 